like to thank you for your presentation on the board. I'm a Jordanian journalist. Um, I, I, have, I just wanted to make two comments and ask you a question. First, about the refugees, or they become more than half of the population, like the case in Jordan with the Palestinians. That's one. Um, to, uh, uh, to my understanding, now Jordan has closed its borders. Now, no, the Iraqis are not allowed in anymore um, because the country cannot. Uh, that's happening. Um, I wanted to ask you, when you talk about the mainstream media, do we, can, can we really uh, replace the word mainstream with Western media? Because you've got Al Jazeera, who have been doing a really great job, I think, in Iraq, and have really changed the stakes internationally. I read a book by, um, I forgot his name now, an American, a former American Marine, who is now working for Al Jazeera International. And in his book, he talks about um, how he was treated and how he was called a traitor, and you know, everything that happened to him um, when he left the army. I wanted to ask you, what, how are you received in the States? And what, have you been bothered? How easy was it to move around in Iraq? How easy was it to go into Iraq, out of Iraq? When you talk about moving there, you know, every, I was thinking all the time about kidnappers and, you know, the horror stories we hear. So can you tell us a bit about that? And how are you received there, you know, by the mainstream media? Yeah. And, and thanks for pointing that out about mainstream. I was definitely being American-centric there. Um, I, I meant mainstream Western media, and even more specifically mainstream uh, United States. Because you're right, Al Jazeera Arabic uh, continues to do a phenomenal job. I think they're one of the best news outlets on the planet, if not the best. Um, uh, and with me, I have not had uh, any direct problems uh, of going in or out of the United States, going in or out of Iraq, uh, working in Iraq, um, no more than, um, than Iraqis do or anyone else uh, aside from dealing with the daily risks and threats and having to be extremely careful and taking what precautions you can. Um, and, and I think a lot of it was just luck. You know, I mean, you do what you can and then at the end of the day you're just throwing the dice and hopefully that car next to you is not a car bomb, you know, uh, which is what every Iraqi is having to live with. Um, but I haven't, you know, and I, I think some of the kind of more, uh, not covert, but uh, other ways that, that I, I have been affected in the United States would just be censorship, you know, that yeah. the, the corporate media just will not run this information. I mean, there's a reason why my publisher is, is Haymarket Books, <laughs> an independent publisher, which I'm really grateful they published my book because none of, none of the other big ones would touch it, you know, because they don't want to report on this information even after it's, a lot of it's been admitted by the military itself. So, ironically, the, the, I get actually national coverage I was on Al Jazeera International. I've I've done short radio interviews uh, on BBC World Service, BBC News Hour. I've been on national media in Italy and Denmark and Greece and Turkey and you know basically and, and I've been on CBC in the past, uh, uh, but basically everywhere but my home country. So it's kind of an interesting trend. Yeah. 